Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Family Sedan Channel. What a headline. Look at this from the Crypto Basic. Forbes declares impending $15 trillion quake targeted at XRP and others. And they're noting in, within the article that XRP is at the epicenter of this. That's their word. And I'll tell you what, I know what I hate, and I don't hate this. What they're talking about, ultimately, as we'll soon as we go through this, it's the coming wave of cash into crypto. And a big chunk of what's discussed within this article is the major revelation that BlackRock, the world's largest uh, uh, fund manager, they have the most assets under management out of any fund on the entire damn planet. Uh, they, although we found out that they were jumping into crypto in August of last year, that, that was big news then too. But this is much bigger, their latest news, because they're, go they're pushing for a spot Bitcoin ETF and... Pretty much everyone under the sun is assuming, yeah, they're actually going to get it for a ton of reasons, which I've been covering recently, so I don't want to delve as much into that in this video. But I'll tell you, when that happened, the day that news broke, I was excited. I was talking about it. I was trying to express just how big of a deal this was. Um, and in the back of my mind, I was kind of wondering, is is this going to be sufficiently appreciated? I was internally wondering that. You know, would, uh, would, would, would it be sufficiently covered? Would there be sufficient uh, communication on social media platforms? It would price move? Uh, well, as it turns out, it's yes to all of the above and then some. You know, it's, 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 just, it's been just amazing to see what's happened. You know, Bitcoin recently in the 24,000s, this news breaks, bam, above $31,000. Uh, but nothing goes up in a straight line forever. But I, I'm telling you, just wait till you see some of the facts in this article because the amount of funds coming and then just understanding that we are here before everybody else, which is a refrain that we've been spouting because it's true for, you know, well, pretty much the entirety of the existence of crypto. I, I think it's just aptly illustrated in this particular moment in time because we were in before BlackRock. BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager. So anyway, before going further, though, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. All right, into this piece we go, and this is a good one. And wait till you see some of the facts within this. It's just, it's like brain explode stuff. Forbes alerts of a $15 trillion earthquake approaching the crypto market fueled by BlackRock's interest in Bitcoin ETF, potentially reshaping XRP demand. And folks, although they don't delve into this concept too much in this article, I don't think I need to tell you. Uh, you understand that we're at the end of the SEC v. Ripple case, and that's happening in conjunction with this BlackRock news. So assuming we do get positive news in that case, and it's good for XRP, can you imagine? I'm telling you, man, like I said the other day, it goes together like a spaghetti and a meatball. Peace continues. In a recent report, Forbes magazine sounded the alarm, alerting that an unprecedented seismic shift is hurtling toward the crypto market with XRP at its epicenter. The article, A New Wave, Major Bank Reveals a $15 Trillion Earthquake, sheds light on a colossal event that could send shockwaves through XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. And I'll say this, uh, that's, that's way too narrow. It's going to be fantastic for the entire asset class, but in particular, if you're talking about large cap coins, which large cap coin? Just narrow it down. So let's just say, actually, let's just say which top ten coin would uh, would be the the most the, or the greatest benefactor of these developments? Well, I, I think obviously it would be XRP because XRP is this is just my unprofessional opinion here, but I do believe it. I believe that XRP, uh, the price of it today is. It's just artificially low as a result of the SEC action. So what's going to spring up the most as a result of not just the end of the lawsuit, but this news? Yeah, I, my bet would be XRP out of the top 10 cryptos, for sure. Peace continues. A sign of the storm ticked last week when BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, announced its intention to plunge deeper into the crypto realm. Specifically, BlackRock, which has assets worth $10 trillion under management, filed for a spot Bitcoin exchange-traded fund with the U.S. regulator. As the largest global asset manager, BlackRock's actions signal an immense demand for Bitcoin exposure from its prestigious clientele. This would naturally ignite a domino effect, leading to a rally around various coins such as XRP. And folks, by, by the way, uh, that is like the understatement of the year, if anything. And I mean that in the kindest way possible. 
Uh, any min hit <laughs> signals an immense demand? Yeah, wait till you see effect. Um, let me share with you something that uh, Larry Fink just said. Larry Fink is the CEO of BlackRock. Uh, that's coming up just a little bit later. Let me do things in a particular order, but yeah, you're going to like it. And it is just like, it is one of those brain explode moments. But anyway, uh, additionally, Forbes argued the possibility of the storm rocking the crypto market following a stunning revelation from Laser Digital, a digital asset subsidiary of banking behemoth Nomura. Its recent survey of professional investors managing a staggering $5 trillion exposed an overwhelming desire to invest in cryptocurrencies like XRP, <gasps> we'll kill our base our prize. I've only believed that this was the case, by the way, since 2017. <laughs> and things look, but when it comes to investing, things can frequently take a long time, especially when the SEC attacks an asset, an actual asset that you uh, that you hold. Anyway, specifically, 96% of these financial experts expressed keen interest in entering the crypto space citing its potential to diversify portfolios and revolutionize investment management. 82% of the respondents displayed an optimistic look for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP, while 88% confirmed that they or their clients were actively considering crypto investments. It's just amazing. And this is while XRP is under assault right now. You still see these staggering numbers. And so take a look at this fact, by the way. And this is because, and I've long said this. So yeah, fine. Ten trillion in assets under management by BlackRock. You need almost none of that to make the price, uh, the prices of, of crypto assets across the board just completely explode, just go through the roof. You need just a fraction of that. And so check this out. While BlackRock's actions could pave the way for a wave of uh, institutional investment products centered around the crypto market. Some experts have argued that even a 0.3% allocation of BlackRock's fund could buy all Bitcoins and XRPs on exchanges. <laughs> Did, were you listening when I just said that? Let me just say it one more time. It's, uh, some have, as experts have argued that even just a 0.3%, yes, that's right, roughly a third of a percent of, of, of the allocation of BlackRock's funds, if that if that entered, just 0.3% entered crypto, they could buy, that could buy all of the Bitcoins and all XRP on all exchanges on the planet. It would just be gone. 0.3% allocation. Are you seeing, so like, that's why I keep saying though, and, and this is why it's so good to be early because most people don't know what we know or they just don't agree with us. They're going to agree with us when the prices are way higher, I'll tell you that. But then it's too late to get the life-changing wealth. But 0.3%. Uh, well, I'll tell you this. If, if you fast forward, and I don't pretend to know what the time period would be, I, 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 I tend to stay away from the prediction stuff when it comes to that and price, you know. I just think if you fast forward sufficiently into a stage where most would agree, hey, it's kind of a mature market now, and people tend to agree, yeah, of course crypto is here to stay. We're even using it on a regular basis. Well, by the time that comes in, 0.3% is going to be nothing. And again, we were just talking about BlackRock there, by the way. That already saps up all Bitcoin and XRP on exchanges from one uh, from one hedge fund, 0.3%. And there are, other, there are other really big hedge funds out there that also have trillions of dollars. So imagine if they have another 0.3 of their holdings. in. So you can see how this gets really bananas really quickly, right? It's going to get bonkers up in here. Um, now, they do wrap up with a little bit of skepticism, but I'm going to just kind of roll my eyes at it. But let's cover it, because we should. Nevertheless, it says, uh, skepticism remains about... Uh, the potential impact of BlackRock's proposed Bitcoin ETF on the market. Simon Peters, a market analyst at the eToro exchange, reportedly expressed reservations. He said, quote, The potential for a Bitcoin spot ETF to move the market is not hugely clear and reliant on demand. And, uh, reliant on demand, end quote. I think I said that with weird inflections, but he's saying that uh, it kind of depends on the amount of demand out there for such a product, for the spot Bitcoin ETF. If there's a lot of demand, of course, then it'd move. He's saying that it's unclear how much demand there's going to be. Uh, let me clear that up for you. There's a metric F word ton of demand. And so consider this, and this is what I've been waiting for. This is the thing I was most looking forward to sharing with you in this video, actually. So check this out. Now, mind you, Larry Fink, a BlackRock CEO, if you go back, I don't know, five or six years, there were headlines of him just crapping all over Bitcoin. Saying it's nonsense, this, I'm paraphrasing these aren't his words, but it's nonsense, doesn't make any sense, of course, nobody wants it, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Those are the arguments that he was making. 
Well, there's a video clip here. Uh, it's on your screen right now. This one happened to go for 25 seconds, widely circulating uh, today, starting in this afternoon. Uh, this one it was shared by many people. This one was shared by uh, the Bitcoin Magazine account here. And uh, check out what he said. This is mind-blowing. Uh, $10 trillion BlackRock CEO. The hits on our website was 3000 for monetary policy and 600000 for Bitcoin. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. On his website, 300,000 hits for monetary policy, 600,000 hits for Bitcoin. 600,000. <laughs> and then he said, quote, many people are fascinated about it. Many people are excited about it, end quote. And so, look, eventually everybody ends up coming around and recognizes that crypto is here to stay. And at some point, enough adoption has to occur. And, it, and uh, the asset class is going to grow so much where if you were a, a, a detractor at some point and you see enough time passes and it keeps growing and growing, at some point after enough time passes, an intellectually honest person will say, huh, there must be something that I got wrong then. That's what an intellectual, at some point you don't keep saying, no, the whole rest of the world is wrong. You know, it's been 14. Can you imagine people saying that after 20 years or 30 years of, of Bitcoin existing or crypto existing? Can you imagine that? No, at some point you have to look inward and be like, I got something wrong. What is it? And then what you do is, if you don't know what it is, then you go out and you seek the answer in good faith. That's what you do. Larry Fink was wrong on this. Now he's right. He's got it. He's jumping in. People want it. And so even if he personally doesn't like it, and maybe even right now today, he personally doesn't like Bitcoin or crypto in general. I don't give a damn. He doesn't have to like it. I mean, it's silly if he doesn't like it, but he recognizes that his customers like it and want it. And it's an it's going to be a huge profit center for BlackRock. Of course, they're jumping in. Of course, they're jumping in. This is gigantic. And here's a, a tweet from uh, Frecky, who is an XRP community member. He's been in crypto since 2011 and actually does work in finance. And he tagged me in another one of these clips. It's the same clip. And he wrote, show this to your skeptics. Hashtag Bitcoin, hashtag crypto. And this is just the start, which is always Bitcoin. Then alts come next. Spot on. And I've said this before, too. There will be, uh, well, of course, not just a Bitcoin spot ETF. Of course, that is coming. Uh, that's that's a certainty. Whether it's BlackRock or another firm, it's eventually coming. Um, my guess would be that it will be BlackRock. But after that, there will be other cryptocurrencies at, that other funds uh, have spot to ETFs for, including XRP. I believe there will be an XRP spot ETF. It won't be the first crypto spot ETF, but I still think it's coming. The amount of money flowing, like, it's just, it's such, I know it's it's hard to believe this sometimes. If you've been in the space for, for many years or as long as me, some of you have been here longer than me. I've been around a good, good a little over five and a half years. I understand how subjectively that can feel like a long time, but stuff like, when it comes to investing, you're supposed to think long terms. And especially when you have a hiccup, like what happened with the SEC and then crypto adoption, yeah, it does take a while. And it is in, like the rate of increase is increasing. It's, 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 I mean, it's exponentially increasing. But that's why it's so damn exciting to be here. <laughs> how could how could how could somebody not be excited about this? It's just crazy. Don't make no damn sense as far as I'm concerned. So all of that, and and I love the recognition. So again, that was a breath of fresh air because again, like I said, I was questioning: Is this actually going to be sufficiently appreciated? Uh, is this is it going to do anything? In terms of price action, are people going to be really talking about it? Or is it just going to be something that people mention for a day and then it's gone like most crypto news? Oh, no, no, no. Everybody's still talking about it. In fact, it's ramping up and more interest is coming in. It's attracting more eyeballs and more dollars into the space, obviously. it's It's been more than what I hoped it would be to this point. And this, it's barely even started. We haven't even had the actual ETF. We don't even know for sure if it's going to happen. Look at the enthusiasm. 600,000 <laughs> entities on BlackRock. When, when five or six years ago, Larry Fink was saying, no, 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 Bitcoin thing, ah, it's garbage. Okay. Well, welcome to the party, pal. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Family Sedan. <laughs>